Did you even miss me? Okay, quick disclaimer here before we get into the video. This is me after completely editing the video, and I just want to let y'all know that I'm a little weird in this video, I'll admit it. Um, I haven't sat down and talked to a camera in a while, so um, I'm just a little bit, a little bit out of my element. So if I weird you out, I'm totally sorry. Second disclaimer. I realized after completely editing this video that I've already done a look that's similar to what I did in this video. Um, yeah, there's just like a minor difference in the look, um, but I, I swear I didn't mean to do that at all. And I really don't want to re-record and do another look. And you know, I feel like it's suitable for his regalia. So we're going to run with this. I'll, I'll do better next time, I swear. Uh, so yeah, um, let's get into the video. Hey, it's me. So today, as you can tell from the title, we're going to be doing some makeup. <laughs> yes, it's been a while since I've not only done a makeup look on this channel, but since I've uploaded, I think I've done one video in like the past month, two months, I don't know, can't remember. And for a while there, I was going pretty hard. I was uploading like twice a week for a little bit during the summertime. Don't know how I was managing to do that, um, but I was having a lot of fun while I was doing it. And maybe uploading twice a week kind of gave me a little bit of burnout. So I took a bit of a break from YouTube don't know if I'm going to be back on any sort of schedule right now, but I'm here. I feel like filming. I feel like being creative and this is what we're going to be doing. So this is another uh, regalia inspired makeup video. Haven't done one of those in a while and today I thought I'd change it up. So my son is a grass dancer and um, I made his regalia for him. And I actually have like a picture printed out. <laughs> so, um, oops. So this is my son. This is his first time dancing. So like he has moccasins now and like other items that have been added to his regalia since then. But this is his very first time dancing in his grass dance outfit. And I thought that I would do a makeup look inspired by his regalia. Also, I've done primarily um, jingle dress looks. I have done beadwork that's for a fancy shawl dancer and I've done my ribbon skirt, but um, I just want to change it up. So we're going to do one for a grass dance outfit. In addition, I've also got this new palette right here that I haven't dug into yet. I've had it since August. Today is September 25th. Um, I was looking for the date and I didn't see it. So I guessed and I think I guessed right. Anyway, this is the Midas Cosmetics uh, Cocktail Hour Neon Cake Liner Palette. I haven't tried it. I've touched it, but it doesn't really do anything. You have to activate it with water for it to work. So I'm gonna be digging into just, I think, the white today. Um, and then I have my other typical palettes that I usually use for this look. The Life's a Drag and the Morphe 25L. I know we don't care for Morphe anymore in this channel, but hey, I paid 20 bucks for this palette. I'm gonna keep using this powder that I paid for, regardless how much the company sucks. So yeah, anyway, let's get started. Okay, so first I'm taking some of this Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer and I just have it in the lightest shade that I, I have light here. And I'm putting it on my eyelid as a base. So I'm not wearing any face makeup. Of course, I've been having a really good skin week until today. Don't know where that thing came from. Like I've had a really good week literally until today. Anyway, I'm going to take this Life's a Drag palette here by Lunar Beauty. 
And I want to incorporate mostly a blue in my look. His regalia is mostly blue. Um, let's see. Okay, well, I think I'm going to dig into fishy right here and put that on the outside and the inside. So yeah, I'm not wearing any face makeup just because um, it's 8.20 at night and I just can't be bothered. <laughs> I don't know, you guys, I'm having kind of a hard time filming right now. I hope this is a, a decent video for y'all. I just haven't done it in so long. You know, you when you go hard on YouTube for a little bit, um, I don't know. It's not that I felt burnout in a sense that um, I was getting sick of YouTube and like <sighs> hating it or anything. It's not that I hated it. It's just when it came time that I needed to get the ball rolling for the next video, when it came time for that, I was just every single day, I was like, I'm too tired for this. I'm too tired. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it next week. In fact, I actually had a video recorded, edited, and uploaded on my YouTube before I started to go on my little break. I just needed to edit the description information. I wanted to put some links in there of information and I couldn't even be bothered to do that. I was not in the mood to, to do YouTube at all. I mean, that's okay, right? To take a little bit of a break. We all need a break. So I guess because of that, I have forgotten how to record and talk to you. Welcome. But I'd like to think I have some exciting things coming up. I have another um, video essay coming up. I'm excited for that. This one's going to be a little more laid back than my other ones. Um, and I also have some collaborations with some friends coming up too. Um, stay tuned for that. Of course, I'll be telling you all about it on social media and in the community tab. I also have some beading videos to get out. Um, in fact, if, if you are a beater and you are watching this right now, um, there's a coupon that I included in my last video of uh, the beading tutorial for uh, two needle beading. Perhaps you didn't even watch that because you're like, girl, I already know how. I don't need to watch this. But I did include a coupon in the description of that video um, that was not given to me by the, the owner of the shop, but they pass it along to me because they had seen my bead haul video, which, um, I'll link right here. It was basically just a haul of beads that I bought from this store that I buy all of my beads from, or the majority of my beads. And we have a mutual friend as well, and they seen my video and they were like, hey, I have a coupon if you want to share it with your peeps. I don't earn anything from the coupon. It's just um, something that they extended over to me to share with you guys. But I'm going to go ahead and link that in the description of this video as well. And it's good until October 9th? 10th? I'll put it right here. I'm going to take a little bit of Kiki and just kind of buff the edges a little. Okay, I think that did a little bit of a something here. I'm going to take Shady from Life's a Jack. I'm going to take Shady from Life's a Drag and I'm gonna pop that um, again in the inner and no the inner and the outer just to deepen up this blue. Yeah. Okay, so this is what I have so far. I have the light blue, the dark blue, and the black. Um, so I have two more colors to use now and there is a green and a white. So I think 
what I'm going to do is reach into this Morphe palette for the green. And this was um, kind of a decision to make because <laughs> I was like, oh man, I could really use uh, this palette to create a green. I could take some of that yellow, some of this blue, and really play with this palette. But I think for the sake of this look, I think that a green would look way cooler than it would um, with a white in the middle. And I got to use a white. Um, this is my vision, okay? So <laughs> I got this Morphe palette here and I am going to take Nature, this matte green color, and put that in the middle. So yeah, basically what I'm trying to say here is I really gotta pack on this green. Truthfully, I haven't even been wearing makeup at all like I don't just mean like not doing makeup videos on my YouTube but like in in my day-to-day -day life or even in my Instagram pictures I haven't been wearing makeup at all no I like my last Instagram set I did I put on an eyeliner and some lipstick and I was super excited about that eyeliner because I had never done that inner eyeliner where you like form a point um, but I think it's so beautiful, so I thought I would finally give it a try, <laughs> and it came out really nice. So I think what I'm going to do now is reach into the Life's a Drag palette again, this uh, Kiki shade, the light blue one, and use that to merge the dark blue with the green. So I believe this Midas palette came with a brush. Yes, this is a Midas Cosmetics brush. I haven't even opened it yet. Um, I'll give it a try. I'm a little nervous about this. I have a little shot glass full of water because directions. Wet your brush and dip into the shade. Mix until it forms a creamy consistency. Add or remove water to reach the desired opacity. Mix shades together on a separate surface to create your own custom shades. Okay, so let's see. The white shade is called On the Rocks. That's cute. What are the other ones? Pink Lemonade, Tangerine Touch, Golden Glow, Sour Melon, Grape Teeny, Electric Blue Margarita, and Black Magic. Cute. Um, so I'm going to use the white one, which is On the Rocks. And I'm gonna do a cat eye, baby. I hope I'm not becoming predictable to you guys. Cause it's like, okay, she's gonna do a color eyeliner. What can I say? I like my eyeliner. All right, so I'm going to, I dipped the brush in the water and then what I just kind of mix it in. Let's, uh, let's try this real quick. Whoa. Whoa, dude, that is so cool. Okay, let's get it. Let's, let's get into it. That was fun. <laughs> um, yeah. Hardly used any product for that. Um, I wish I would have played with it just a little bit before doing the look so I can be a little more familiar with, um, I don't know, the formula before doing a whole look that I'm filming, uploading, and taking pictures of, but that's okay. Um, learning curve for everything, and it's not like I'm a freaking serious MUA or anything because I'm not um so yeah here is the liner this is two coats of it um okay I'm gonna go in with fishy this blue one I'm gonna put it on the under eye rusty as hell like I haven't done makeup in so long let alone a freaking wild like editorial look 
Okay, last thing, in the spirit of wanting to add a little more white to this look, I'm gonna reach into my Anastasia Aurora palette. I'd show you this, the shade, but it's a little busted at the moment. There's a shade in the middle that's called, hold on, it's covered in powder, Luna. It's like a white shade. I'm gonna put that in the inner corner. Right, and here is the finished look. So, yeah, this is what I got here. We've got dark blue, light blue, black, uh, green, and white. I have lots more of, you know, my own regalias, my family's regalias, ribbon skirts, shirts, the works that I can do. But this is also, you know, meant for you guys, whoever wants to participate. Um, I guess I should have explained this at the beginning of the video instead of the end, but whatever. If you would like to participate in regalia inspired makeup, you can send me a photo of you and your regalia or just your regalia. And I can try to recreate the color palette on my eyes. Um, and it doesn't have to be, you know, a powwow regalia. It could be any kind of dance regalia, ceremony regalia ribbon skirts ribbon shirts anything really if it's your traditional garments send them my way um and i can recreate the color palette on my eyes see what i can do oh man this video is all over the place so yeah send me your regalia if you want to there's a bead store coupon in the description it expires sometime in october the 9th of the 10th it's right here um and yeah this is my look and I will see you in the next one. Baba Peak Wabin.